Hi there. Well, I have such a lovely engine to share with you today. I am really excited about this engine. Now, this was sent to me, it was donated to the YouTube channel by a guy called Russell and uh, a very kind gesture and it is such a lovely engine. I'm so excited by this. So, why am I excited? Well, it's an English made spark ignition engine and it's a HP Series 1, uh, three and a half cc Now, everything I know about the, this engine and the production uh, and, it, and that came from an article by Adrian Duncan, a really detailed article. And uh, if you have a look in the description below this video, uh, you'll find a link to that article, really well worth a read. I mean, Adrian produces some absolutely excellent work. And uh, so briefly, this engine or an engine was produced by Atlas in 1946 called the, uh, it was a, the Series 1. And then again that year they modified it to produce the Series 2, again 1946. The company was then taken over by uh, Morborn Requisites in Hertfordshire in end of, eight, uh, end of 46, beginning of I think 47. And essentially they produced the same engine as the Atlas Series 2, but they called it the HP Series 1. And this is a HP Series 1. And we'll take a closer look now and we'll have uh, a look at what makes this the HP or how I can tell this is the HP engine. So let's have a closer look. Right, we can see this absolutely gorgeous 1947 HP Series 1, 3.5cc spark ignition engine. It's all in original condition, hasn't been messed about with. Uh, it's in good condition, the tank, the contacts, here on the front and we've got the lever for adjusting the uh, the spark ignition timing. Now as I said this is a HP engine rather than the earlier Atlas engines from uh, 1946 the Atlas and the only real difference between uh, this engine the HP and the earlier Atlas engine the Series 2 is that as far as I'm aware this has got HP on the uh, on the back plate here you've got H, a diamond and a P. We've also got a an M on the lug under there and a 557, the, the serial number which could indicate it's number 557 if they started at one but uh, manufacturers often didn't because they wanted to give an impression um, that they were selling or making more than, uh, than they were. But this is just such a really nice engine and as I said there weren't many of them produced, so it's, it's lovely to have. Now I've already had this engine running, I had it in the test stand, and it just runs like a dream. And I've never had a spark ignition engine that, uh, that starts so sweetly. Make sure you watch the video right to the end and just see the repeated starts. It is just, uh, just an absolutely lovely engine. And it, it it's just backs up all the claims that these are good quality, well machined, well put together engines. And I ran it on this top flight 10 by 5 wooden prop and I ran it on uh, a 3 to 1 mix of Coleman's fuel to a SAE, SAE uh, 50 oil, a Harley Davidson motorbike oil. So, and uh, it runs just so sweet. Take a look at this. Oh, and Russell, thank you. This engine is just so sweet. Anyway, watch this. Right, well, let's get this lovely engine fueled up and, uh, and see how it runs. Right, let's see.
<laughs> I'm not sure whether it didn't like being written out there or whether uh, it ran out of fuel. I suspect it ran out of fuel to be honest because it's been running for a while but we'll get a little bit more uh, fuel in there and uh, get it fired back up again. Let's just give it a couple of chokes. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> well, you could hear it start to waver as the uh, as the fuel got low, but that ran really steady. Well, let's see how this thing starts. Give it a choke, ignition on. One, two, ignition on. It's a bit hot now, <laughs> so we'll uh, we'll let it just get actually there can't be much fuel in so I will just run it and get that fuel out. Well I'll turn it off. Call it a day. I don't want to uh, I don't want to get it too hot. But wow. Lovely. <laughs> Wow, wow, that's all I can say. What a gorgeous engine. I have never had a spark ignition engine that has started as easy as this. On the odd occasion it needed more than one flick, it was because I messed up the first flick, didn't do it very well. You get a decent flick in and it is away. Two chokes, good flick and it's away. What a lovely engine and it ran really steady, a lovely sound. It was quite a, a deep, mellow sound. Now, 
I'd always heard that these engines weren't that powerful and I think that was certainly borne out by the, uh, the running today. Uh, at one point my taco was saying, uh, I think it was about 8,000 RPM, which just, it didn't sound right, uh, it didn't feel right, so I took it off the stand and handheld it and we started to get about 480, 500 at, at a push, which I think was an accurate reflection on what this was actually doing. But it, it just ran so lovely. I mean, these are the, these were supposed to be really good quality, well-built engines at the time, and that is certainly borne out from what we've seen today in the test stand. What a gorgeous engine! Absolutely love it. Hope you've enjoyed watching this as well, and um, I can't wait to get this running again. Anyway, thanks very much for watching.